1,500 farm families from across New England and upstate New York. And they own the company, they 100% own Cabot, and they share 100% of the profits. You're not only getting a really good product, you're also supporting local farmers. It's all sliced really thin, and that's really helpful because it cooks faster, and also it'll ensure that when you're biting it, if you don't want the raw taste in your mouth, then you'll know that it's been cooked through. So you want to make sure that both these things are cut really, really fine. This is Choice Cheddar, which is a more aged cheddar from Cabot, so it's a lot sharper than a regular sharp cheddar. And then we've got our sharp light cheddar. We're going to be using that together. There's this whole section in there, and there are a lot of tips from this one farmer named Rachel Freund. And while she was in college at UVM, she manned a, she volunteered at a grilled cheese stand that raised money for the Hunger Project. So she is not only a dairy farm expert, she's also a grilled cheese expert. And you can hear some cheese is oozing out, which is not a bad thing. And I'm a fan of burnt cheese, actually, so it's more better for me. I wanted some kind of green herb or some kind of Something with a little more flavor and a little more bite, which is where the arugula comes in. So as you can see, this is all coming together. And since we're not going to put this on a pan in order to toast it together or melt it together, we're going to smush it together and it's going to really help that it's going to get all toasted and empty. <coughs> this guy, our guava. You would put it back in the broiler only for about 30 seconds because you just want the cheese to melt and you don't want it to burn um, because then it gets a little harder and a different texture. 